okay guys I'm gonna go over a quick tutorial on how I create grid map tiles for uh, Godot so first of all step one you need to create um, like your base style like in 2d you'd have that center tile so this would be like the base style so you decide what it um what's it gonna be let me uh, enable screencast keys real quick okay so Currently this style is a uh, 2 by 2 it should be, so let's check item, so 2 by 2 meters. Could change that to something else if you want, could go 4, alright let's go by 4. So 4, 4, 4. And make sure to apply scaling, so that should be control A and scale. And I should change all that to 1. So before we do anything we need to decide where the corners are gonna be so let's go into edit mode say control r to look, create loop cuts scale up and then scale on z about there and what the y is gonna be the corners Scale out an X about there, and that should be it for that. Oh, these corners too don't have to, but as you can rotate the tiles, so make another one scale on Y about there. I'm eyeballing this, but you could enable snapping for this section too. But I'm gonna do that next. So now that you have um now that you have this set up, you can go ahead and go to this um object properties and change this to a wireframe. So wire down here. So viewport visibility wireframe. And you go to object mode. So now you have this layout. So now we could enable snapping and then we create a new so this will be our first shape it's a second cube let's do the same scaling don't move it from the center as yet now we could go to edit mode and let's see we could decide how we want to cut it as a matter of fact, an easy way to do this is get rid of it, then duplicate this one. So it's now there, and then change that one to it's regular, textured, or solid. I think it's solid, was it? Yeah, it doesn't matter right now. Actually, let's leave that texture. Okay, so now we could go to edit mode. Oops face select delete the faces we don't want so there's an important thing about it too for example if we want this to be say like uh, the floor we we'll delete all of these so if delete faces and it's very important that the origin stays the same place don't sh change the origin so let's just connect up these back again so you could go like edge select mode so look all of them at the same time you could press alt f or say control z that control f and say grid fill and it fills them up without you have to manually be filling all of that. So we could now go to object mode and press F2. And just name this, I guess, floor. Floor center. Oh no, this floor, because you could put it anywhere. And then enable snapping on increment. And then you could just move it over. Actually, enable snapping on increment and then set it to absolute grid so it sticks to each corner of this grid. 
This is gravity on X. Move it over there. And now you could make another duplicate of this one. Duplicate. And let's grab it on X. Move it for now. And then, what would we make here? Could make a wall. Change its type as well. Edit mode. Let's delete all these faces. Oops. Switch to face select. So I'm gonna skip this part and let's me let me just do this part and then I'll skip here. Another thing I wanted to show too before I skip again. Um enable snapping and use vertex. So you could grab here, for example, and then try to align the mouse to the edge so it snaps to that section. Then you could extrude it again on Z. Uh -oh. Control S, oops, not that. Select them, extrude, and there. Snap like those. Extrude, edge, extrude, and edge. Alright, now you go to object mode, then, oops, oops, sorry. Edit mode, select all, and go to mesh. Clean up, merge by distance. And you see, I did clean up ten verts. Like those are like the parts that I snapped to, so it gets rid of them. All right, moving on. Okay, now you select all. Then you could flip them. So scale on Z minus one. And that didn't work out good, but you'll see why I did it that way. So I'll just leave it at that for now. Exit. So now we could pull, select this boy. Select this boy, I mean. Then, wait, select this guy. <laughs> Sorry. Then Shift S, cross it to selected, and select him. Then say, Crouch Shift. S selection to Krauser. Where is it? Okay. Now I could snap this guy with this one. So see could use vertex. So I then grab it and then snap it to that edge. See how that worked? So now you go to object mode Oops. select it again object mode set origin and origin to 3d crosser they so basically centering it back to the origin the you know where it should be then you could move that away yeah uh. oops Do that for the same one. Okay. Now we can um let's rename everything. Let's call this uh, top or roof. Roof. So that's basically how I make the tiles. Then you save make sure you save regular save uh let's call it grid tiles and then we export it as a gltf grid tiles same place yeah yeah okay now over here i have a um 
a regular basic scene with a three person controller I mean FPS controller the regular collision and everything and I have a grid map imported already and I had this just to be testing the controller the stilly the now we go to the grid tiles double click um you could inherit it or could create it as its own scene i'll do that because i have a um a tool script that i want to show you guys so let's open it anyways so here we create the collisions we could go ahead and create each collision like this so mesh create trim aesthetic body and then do it again with this one do it again with that one you get a point but i have a better way to do it so you could get a i have a script that i created um it's in my uh discord i'll leave the link below to join my discord if you want to so let's drag that in if that works nope it doesn't so let's open the file and drag it in this way ah, come on that's some water sounds so drag it over here so now i could just attach it to the top the root for the root arm node so add the da, da, da. So what this script does is just loop through every child and add it and add um wait, add the collisions and it skips over stuff like lights and cameras i actually forgot to take them out that's the reason why i programmed it in there to do that so you just hit generate and it should generate everything if you can see it yep they're all there all right, let's go here now. Scene, convert to mesh library. Just give it a name, grid tiles maybe. Grid tile set. And make sure it's a library. Dot mesh lib. I don't know why it doesn't do that sometimes. It doesn't add the extension. Save. Could also save this one too. Well, I guess not. <laughs> Close it. Don't save. Now we go to the grid live grid map, and then we can add the same mesh library. It's right here. Now we have all these tiles to play. So remember that you set it in um in here. You have all the tiles as four meters. So you need to set um. Oops, you need to set the cell size to 4 meters on each axis. On the y axis, though, if you have like floors, maybe you have a floor that, that like a step that only goes up by 3 meters, could set that to 3 meters for the whole thing, but in most cases, you wouldn't want to do that. So the octant, octant size is the engine, like, um, renders everything together. So the bigger the number, the more it does together. It's for like performance. And you could center everything or not. But this doesn't have use if you already have everything centered. So it doesn't really matter. So let's go over some stuff here. First you have Q and E to scale what level you're on. So you could play style here. Press E to go down, place one below it. You get the point. Right click or to remove a tile. And A and D to rotate the tile. I mean A to rotate um let's see. I think this rotates on Q and E. Okay, so S to do wire rotation. I think A was to do X and D for Z yeah so z x and y so in my case i only need to rotate on y let's just build a quick um see that that's not rotated so i know that was wrong because it's 
top and not centered. Okay. This is created to that's it. And there. Then I can add the corners. All right, let's work with that for now. Where is my player? Let's move him up a bit. All right, and then we enable, make sure the collision's all right, everything's good, then display. And there you have it. You have a map. Mm -hmm. All right, let's And my jump button doesn't work. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Remember to check out the Discord below. And see you in the next one.